What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can reset our BIOS password in a Toshiba laptop. Now the other day we was having a conversation in Discord about removing BIOS passwords and there's many different ways of going about doing this. Um, if you want to remove a BIOS password uh, for some laptops it can be very difficult and you may need to replace the BIOS chip itself. Uh, sometimes you can jumper uh, some little pins and some people have had trouble with jumping those pins because obviously uh, they can't get a good contact on those pins to get it to reset. So as you can see here we do have a BIOS password now. This hasn't been entered in at all. Now you'll get three attempts to enter the BIOS password if you want to get into the BIOS and you'll get three attempts and it'll lock you out and it will give you a, an actual number there. Now if you do want to reset this um, whether you put in, try to guess it three times or you want to reset it this way, it doesn't really matter, it's the same process. So whether you're seeing a number on the screen here because you've attempted it three times would be the same process as it would be to reset it here. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, reset this uh, password and I'll show you how uh, I'm going to go and do it in this uh, Toshiba laptop here. So let's make sure we power down uh, the laptop itself. Okay, so what we got here is the laptop turned upside down. Um, here is the panel that we need to remove to get to where we need to reset. Uh, you can see here this is a satellite uh, C855, uh, 1H8. And all these laptops are going to be different, okay? Some of them are under the um, RAM slots or just beside the RAM slots. Some of them are near the BIOS battery if you've got a BIOS battery some of them are molded to the board we're just taking a look here at um, this one here so we've got this removed here you've got your hard drive and your RAM sometimes you'll see it down here there's a little couple of pads down here which you can jumper across now when you jumper them with say a pair of tweezers or something like that and power it on that can reset it. The problem with that method is sometimes you can't get a good contact on the jumpers and uh, if you don't get good contact it won't reset. Now sometimes uh, when you go to reset it this way it doesn't reset either. You'll have trouble resetting it and that may be because you're not getting a good contact. Here is the actual BIOS battery right here and uh, you can see I can flip this uh, BIOS battery out if I wanted to. That's not going to reset the uh, BIOS uh, in this case. There is a jumper pad right here uh, next to the BIOS battery. Let me go and set this up so you can see it. So I'm not too sure whether you'll be able to pick this up but you'll see a little pad down here, some two little pads. And what you need to do is arc those two pads out with a, with a, a, a device like a pair of tweezers or something like that. And what that's going to do is uh, reset uh, the BIOS password. Now sometimes as I said you do see them underneath the RAM, you have to remove the RAM, there's a couple of little pads there, you just have to get the schematics and uh, it will normally tell you. Now sometimes uh, removing the BIOS itself, the actual chip itself and putting a brand new chip on is the way forward but each uh, laptop's going to have its own ways of doing things but on this one we're just going to get a pair of tweezers and jumper those across and power it on okay now the hard drive is left in and also I've left the RAM slots in uh, also I've got the battery still in here uh, I'm running on battery um, could put a bit of power to it which I'll probably do and then we'll power it on so let me go and get a pair of tweezers and we'll jumper this across so I'll try and get a close-up here without it going out of focus there we go and it's those little pads right there closest to the battery. It's these ones here. And you need to jump at those and power on. Okay. So what I'm going to do is try to jump at these. So I need to get my finger on the button here and go around the back and try to jump at these two pins. like so and then push the power button and once we've got that jumpered and started up there we should now once we start the system 
Still got the back off. Just going to try to get into the BIOS and by tapping F2 on the that's starting Windows up. Let me just restart Windows. We'll test. It should have cleared it. Now sometimes you'll get uh, some messages coming up on the screen if you've got those numbers. Uh, where you've tried to get into the BIOS three times, you get a different uh, type of message up on the screen. But once you shut the PC down and restart, you should basically uh, have that reset. So let me just let this boot up and I'll reshut it down correctly. And then we'll see whether it's uh, removed the BIOS password. We'll just let that load in. And it should actually uh, clear the BIOS password. As long as you get a good contact. Now I've used, I tried to use a pair of tweezers. Didn't have much success there. Wasn't getting, I think it's because these are diagonal ones. Uh, but in the end, I just used a uh, paper clip with uh, two little pins on them like that, and then make sure they're really close together and touch the two pins with the paper clip. So let's see if it's worked. So what I need to do here is restart the system. So I'm just going to tap F2 and if it goes straight into the BIOS then the password has been removed. There we go, we're in. So all we need to do now is uh, just go along and check security and you can see here they're not registered they've been wiped out and that's pretty much it that's basically as you can see here been removed and that's basically how you can remove the BIOS for this version of Toshiba now some of them are different and uh, if you are having trouble with the jumper pads just make sure that you get a good connectivity on it sometimes just tacking a bit of solder uh, tacking it onto the actual jumpers themselves like uh, say a piece of wire just tacking it across will work better than trying to hold it on there because it is a bit fiddly when you're holding uh, the uh, paper clip onto it like that it's quite difficult to get it uh, onto the pins so you may want to just tack a bit of solder on there and then remove it afterwards uh, but if you're at home user and you don't want to do that then obviously you just use something like this and just hold it on there it took me about two attempts to get it onto uh, onto the actual pads properly. Anyway, that's pretty much it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.